Hey guys, I'm here on the final day of SHOT Show 2018 with the gentlemen from Franklin Armory with their Reformation, the gun that's been making all the headlines across the internet. And uh, some some good, some bad. What is your response thus far to people have been saying that they were concerned about the limited effective range of, a, of an 11 and a half inch barreled AR? Well, <laughs> with, the, uh, with the projectiles we've designed that are near one MOA, sure. we're not too worried about that. I, 11 and a half inch, it works fine. We could do longer barrels down the road, but the sure. point of this was uh, a lot of folks wanted a non-NFA package. We took a look at the regulations of what a rifle is and what a sure. uh, shotgun is, and so we designed a, uh, a barrel that wouldn't offend the NFA and came out with the straight cut lands and grooves, and then we had to find a way to stabilize the projectile, and that's where the NRS projectile came in. And so I was actually incorrect in, in my assumption that NRS was non-spiraled rifling, but I guess the concept was pretty close. Uh, the, it's not rifling, because by definition, rifling has to be a twist to it, but there are straight lands and grooves inside the barrel, which helps stabilize the projectile on its way down the barrel, and then after the fact towards the target. Uh, I, I think TFB reported it as a, as a four MOA gun, and I think for the vast majority of shooters, especially those using it as a self-defense tool, that's more than adequate. Uh, let me clarify. So with standard off-the-shelf Wally sure. World ammo, that's where you're going to get a non-stabilized projectile. You'll get four MOA. The uh, bullet will uh, tumble. It'll hit the target sideways. Still don't want to catch that bullet. Probably sure. do even more damage, to be honest with you. Sure. But it was really fascinating to find that it would still maintain that vector and get a, a four MOA out of it. Not really what we designed everything around. With this projectile, we believe we'll be able to bring it in in a very cost-effective manner. There's two very large uh, household name corporations that are looking to work with us on loading very this. Cool. So we're hoping to really bring this in at a, at a viable price point that will be palatable for everybody. And the fact that it handles standard ammunition is simply a bonus. Gotcha. And because of the nature of the projectile, we're not going to see necessarily defensive uh, hollow core ammo in the future, are we? Or would that still be compatible? It, it's very, very possible. There's, it, with, with some of that, you could add tungsten and, and put the ballast where you need it. Sure. Um, you could use it as a an expanding uh, penetrator. There's all kinds of different little sure. things that so I'm, can I'm, be done. I'm guessing with those, the fin stabilization of the round like that, you almost have to redesign the bullet entirely from its internal components to actually have it play well with that sort of rifling. Am I right or am I totally off base? So basically for designing for this, yes, there are certain parameters. We spent eight months already testing this. I could, I could tell you a lot of things that don't work sure. <laughs> in that time because every week we had a new run we were, were testing. Um, with the fin projectiles, we, we're, there's a lot of variables we're looking at that, sure. that we've been able to uh, uh, gather data, data upon and, uh, and, and figure out what it took to get down to near one MOA. Very cool. And so, we still think we could tweak it more to get sub MOA. Sure. And I, I've heard uh, initially in 5.56 or 300 blackout, any plans for future calibers, maybe 30 cal? Uh, like 308. Right. Yeah, Certainly. so possibly. Um, we're going to start with the 300 blackout. Eventually, we'll bring the 5.56, and then from there, we'll have to see what the market demand is for. So, have you tried this setup with a pistol caliber, more blunt round? And if so, how did it perform? Uh, we have not. Uh, there's obviously interested in having a 9 millimeter version. Uh, that might be a likely candidate sure. to do after this. And the last question I had, I had some people asking online, um, how about compatibility with a sound suppressor? Without that rifling and you're using ball ammunition, and I, I believe with the stabilized round, it shouldn't be an issue, but Correct. with uh, ball ammunition, which could you know, change its, its uh, orientation on the way out of the barrel, makes a baffle strike pretty certain. Is that correct? Or? Well, we got to do some testing on that. Sure. Um, at this point, I don't have the data for that because we have not been using a muzzle device on anything gotcha. except for this configuration. We made sure it worked with our try and veer muzzle device sure. uh, before launching it. But as far as uh, with suppressors and so forth, we're, we're going to have to do some testing. I, my suspicion is, and it still needs to be proven, is that a 30 caliber bore will work with a 9 millimeter type suppressor, but until we get that uh, proven, gotcha. I can't guarantee it. There's a little margin of error space. I got you. Well, thank you so much, Jay. I appreciate pleasure, your time. John. And of course, stay tuned for continued coverage of SHOT Show 2018, the latest and greatest from companies just like Franklin Armory. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more burst reviews.